Hurricane Harvey is catastrophic. This was more than we can imagine. The image is devastating. Thousands stranded in need of rescue or doing whatever they can to get out. This is a life safety, life sustaining mission. The help is coming, but the need is overwhelming. We prayed a lot and um, we just praised God and he, you know, we were rescued. Good evening, Harvey just keeps getting worse with every hour, every raindrop that adds to that deadly flooding. Yeah, we have been watching those images all weekend long and they continue to grow more painful and so very emotional. Police in Houston say they have rescued more than 2,000 people so far, more than 100 still in need of immediate help. Forecasters say some areas could get 50 inches of rain before this is finally over. That puts 13 million people under flash flood warnings or watches tonight. Jay Gray is in Texas tonight where the rescue and response is constantly changing. Good evening, Scott. Good evening, Andrea. This neighborhood, like dozens across Houston, underwater right now. More than 400 people have been pulled from here to higher ground. As the rain continues to fall, the water continues to climb, pushing into places it's never been before. The rain here just won't stop. The people who have lived here 25, 30, 40 years haven't, haven't seen anything like this. Water swallowing entire neighborhoods, forcing its way into homes. This was more than we can imagine. And more than many can bear. The rescue people came and took us to what I was here. Some areas have already taken on more than 20 inches of rain. And before it's over, that number could double. This is a landmark event. We have not seen an event like this. Every member of the Texas National Guard has been deployed. Joined by state and local law enforcement, federal agents, and a volunteer Navy, all scrambling to pull thousands to higher ground. We are still involved in the search and rescue process. Using every available asset, Coast Guard choppers, boats, even flatbed trucks. It's over five feet in our house. We barely made it out. I'm just so grateful that they came. And the effort is far from over. It's still a, a very dangerous situation out there. It's, uh, we're expecting more rain. Rescue teams like the nation's fourth largest city now stretch to their limits, but still delivering survivors to safety All right. and shelters, giving literally everything they can. Thank you. And everything is exactly what they need right now. It's something they'll need for quite some time. The rain's expected to continue to fall for at least two more days, and then the difficult recovery will begin here. In Houston, Jay Gray, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Indiana's Task Force One is hard at work tonight in Texas. In Katy, a suburb west of uh, Houston, the hazardous material support team is now checking issues. The water rescue team is also there after driving through the night. We were there last night as they packed up and said their goodbyes to their families. These volunteers train roughly 15,000 hours every year preparing in case of an emergency.